For the word of God is quick and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit, and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. This is Pastor Cornelius Haruna with the mandate of raising spiritual giants who will lighten their world. Remain blessed as you encounter God's undiluted word for the restoration of your destiny. Now the word. I shall pray. Lord, I want to be like Jesus in my heart. Lord, I want to be like Jesus in my heart. In my heart. In my heart. Lord, I want to be like Jesus in my heart. Lord, I want, Lord, I want to be like Jesus in my heart. Lord, I want, Lord, I want to be like Jesus in my heart. Oh, in my heart, in my heart, in my heart. In our my heart, oh, in my heart, Lord, I want to be like Jesus. In my heart, oh, in my heart, in my heart, in my heart, oh, in my heart, Lord. I want to be like Jesus in my heart. We are going to lift up our voices to pray. The Bible says, The heart of man is desperately wicked. Who can know it? Say, sit down and eat and make merry. But his heart is not with you. We are different in life because. The heart of every man is the foundation of his destiny. You're going to pray prayer this morning. Lord, push my heart. Don't let me be a wicked person. At heart. There is a propensity to become wicked in the heart. You don't just know, but you are thinking wicked thoughts. Amen. You are thinking, what is a wicked thought? A thought that is not in, in line with what God wants. A heart, a thought that is not in, Maybe you want to relate with somebody in a way Because of what the person has done But that is not what God really wants But you are bent on doing that thing you really want to do it's, it's a, And God said no But say, this is what I will do That is wickedness Hallelujah The, the prayer I'm going to pray Wickedness is not only to be killing people Lord deliver my heart from wickedness Lift up your voice and pray that prayer. Father, in the Father, name of Jesus, I ask that you deliver my heart. Deliver from my heart from me. Put me with your heart. Put me with your blood. Put my heart. Is somebody praying this morning? Deliver my heart from wickedness. Deliver my heart from wickedness, Lord. Lord, deliver my heart from wickedness. Lord, deliver my heart from wickedness. Lord, deliver my heart from wickedness. Oh, I need a portion of the cleansing. Lord, that my heart be delivered from every form of wickedness. Lord Almighty, deliver my heart from wickedness. Rama ne brede bo somle ne bo di anala baba la tanama. Rebe ne bo somle ne bo samadi ala brada basada. Rebe ne bo somle ne ala manu somle ne ne brede. Deliver my heart from wickedness, O Lord. Deliver my heart from wickedness, O Lord. Deliver my heart from wickedness, O Lord. 
in the name of Jesus Christ who pray. Amen. Say thy word have I hid in my heart that I may not sin against you. Father, by the power of your word, deliver my heart from wickedness. Father, by the power of your word, deliver my heart from evil thoughts. Father, Lift up your voice and pray now. Jesus. By the power of your word, deliver my heart from of your word. Form of deliver wicked my heart from wickedness. Deliver my heart from wicked thoughts. By the power of your word. By the power of your word. By the power of your word. Out of your word, Raman Malaba, Sablari Brunos, by the power of your word, by the power of your word, by the power of your word, Jesus, most precious name we pray. Lift up your voice and give God thanks for answers to prayer this morning. We give you the glory. Thank you for answers to prayer. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Please sit down briefly. Welcome us to the fifth day on this mountain of transformation. I know God is already doing something in your life. You will never recover from it in Jesus' name. Matthew chapter 4 verse 4. Matthew chapter 4 verse 4. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Our focus today is the word, maximizing the word for transformation. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Here Jesus was quoting verbatim from the book of Deuteronomy chapter 8. So let us see what Deuteronomy chapter 8 says. Deuteronomy chapter 8 beginning from verse 1. Our emphasis in verse 3. All the commandments which I command thee this day shall you observe to do that ye may live and multiply Go in and possess the land which the Lord swear unto thy fathers. And thou shalt remember all the way which the Lord thy God led thee these forty years in the wilderness. To humble thee and to prove thee to know what it was in thine heart. Whether thou would keep his commandments or no. And he humbled thee and suffered thee to hunger. And fed thee with manna which thou knewest not. Neither did thy fathers know that he might make thee know that man does not live by bread only, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of the Lord does man live. Verse 4, thy raiment wax not old upon thee, neither did thy foot swell these forty years. Hallelujah. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by Every word. He didn't say man cannot live by bread alone and man shall not live by every word or by word. Say man shall not live by bread alone. But when it comes to the word, he can live by every word. That proceeded from the mouth of the Lord. Amen. Now, the scripture we just read reveals... But in the days of their being in the wilderness, they had several experiences. At times there was no food, no water. At times battle came against them. 
And God said, the reason why I allow all these things to happen is to prove just one point. To prove that you can live by every word. He said, I want to know what is in your heart. Whether my word is in your heart or what else is in your heart. What was he saying there? That the children of Israel were supernaturally kept in the wilderness by word. Every word that came from God to them in the wilderness was food for them. Even their clothes could not grow old because the word of God was at work preserving it. So the word of God is God's final method for the answering of all questions. Hello? But by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God, you can live. You might not have anything at home, but God says, I will supply your needs according to my riches in glory. That word answers that need. Amen. You might be struggling in sin before you gave your life to Christ, but in Romans chapter 6 14, it says, And sin shall no longer have dominion over you. That word has enough capacity to dissolve every word of sin over your life. Man lives by the word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Hallelujah. Until you come to the point where you possess a, a mentality that there is nothing that the word of God cannot answer. You might continue to wallow in defeat. The answer is already in the word. The answer is where? It's already in the word. But until you possess the, a consciousness that my answer is in the word, it might never be to you. It is the consciousness that the answer is in the word that unravels the answer to you from the word. Everything Jesus used in answering Satan in Matthew 4, 4, and in Matthew chapter 4, where all it is written. It is written. It is written. The answer was already there. Jesus was only giving him the answer that was already available. Hallelujah. No human situation that, is, that can defy the word. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. Amen. Why? Because the word of God has the capacity to become free. John chapter 1 From verse 1 We know that very well In the beginning it was the word Then the word was with God The word was God And all that The same was in the beginning with God And by him were all things made And without him was not anything made that was made So the word Let there be light The word became light Hello let there be fish, let there be fishes in the water. The world became fishes. Let the sun be there, the world became sun. Let there be stars, the world became stars. Let us make man in our image, the world became man. And in John chapter 1, the Bible said, Not only was the world becoming all this, but in, 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 in looking at it, let us look at it from verse 9. That was the true light which lighted every man that cometh unto the world and on. And when we get to verse 14, the first part of it said, And the world was made flesh and dwelt among us. So the world was not only transformed to star, moon, sun, fishes. The world also became flesh and dwelt among us. Even becoming Jesus Christ, the son of the living God. Hallelujah. So the word of God has the capacity to become whatever you want it to become. That's why I say man shall not live by bread alone. But by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. The word of God can become health. The word of God can become finances. The word of God, anything that you desire, anything that is your need per time, God's word has the capacity to become it. The word of God can become security. Amen. Somebody is moving, it's not putting on bulletproof. They are shooting every day. Bullet is not touching him because a word has been spoken over his life. I remember when we were outside the, the country in one of those nations, we traveled up by my parents. But still, 
in one of those particular nations and then a battle started very serious war there was this young man um, from nigeria in that country that time that the battle was so strong it caught in the mist it was in the midst of it when the battle started so one of the rebel soldiers was very drunk and caught him and stripped him naked head to toe so he faced the wall carried his gun as he was about to shoot him his friend came out also drunk and said ah come 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 let us drink come let us drink leave that one there we'll come back and meet him he followed him and went inside when they finished drinking he came outside he didn't see the person he wanted to kill again say oh you allow him to run he shot the friend down that one ran naked running naked again to the another part of the town because bullets were flying everywhere he entered into their hand again the hand of other another set amen but all this why death will come close and death will be averted you know what's happening to him a word of security was spoken over his life the word became security hallelujah the word became what security when he said i will give my angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways that is enough when he said behold i give to you power to trample on serpents and scorpions and over all the paths of the enemy and nothing i love that you know i like that scripture so sweet he said nothing number one shall by enemies number two harm you meaning there is nothing that can by any method those no method can the devil use to bring you down no method accident no way sickness no way call them which other one he uses to track people down huh oh <laughs> misfortune calamity in any form no way arrows from the covenant of darkness no way why because he has said nothing shall by any means hurt me nothing nothing Anytime I begin to feel maybe funny in any part of my body, maybe I begin to feel funny. I just say, ah, nothing, it can't even enter. Nothing shall I means hurt me. Nothing. Arrow can't enter. One can't enter. Knife can't enter. Eh? We saw that one. Like, nothing shall by any means hurt you. The word of God is a no for the preservation of life. Now, write it down. Capital. The word of God is enough for you to begin. The word of the Lord is enough for you to continue and the word of the Lord is enough for you to finish strong. So you're starting, you're continuing and you're finishing strong is guaranteed by the word of God. Man shall not live by bread alone or by every word that proceeds forth from the mouth of the Lord. This morning, by the word of God, your destiny is secured this year. In the mighty name of Jesus. Your destiny is secure this year. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. So I round up by saying this morning. Have a consciousness of answers in the world. Have what? A consciousness of answers in the world. Anything you are going through. Any challenge. Any situation. Any answer you are looking for. Have a consciousness that if I settle down with the word. It is there. If I settle down with God's word, it is there. And like I said, the Bible says, Forever thy word is settled in heaven. So when you settle your life on his settled word, then your life is settled. Settle your life on his settled word. Since his word is settled, just settle your life on it. Praise God. Praise the living God. If you have a horse race and one of the horses is the best runner, Anyone who sits on that horse, amen, emerges as the winner. He is stable. Why? Because the horse is stable, he must be stable too. So in the same way, when you need to settle your life, settle it on the word. Settle your life on the word and the word which is settled and your life is settled on the word will give you a settled life. You will not be easily moved. not be easily troubled. Amen. The mountains are roaring. It doesn't move you because you are standing on the settled word. The devil is shouting everywhere. It doesn't move you because you are settled on the settled word of God. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every single word that proceeds forth from the mouth of God. I was about to step into the ministry. I was praying the last day before I left my father's house. In fact, that same day. 
I had no money on me. Completely cashless. I didn't know where I was going to stay. But God has said, move to Lokoja. That's where you're going to start from. People were telling me, relax. Let the resources come first. But I said, no. The commandments bring the resources. It's not the resources that bring the commandments. So I'm moving. And I knelt down to pray. I can't forget that day. And I saw myself in a meeting hall. And the man of God was ministering, an elderly man of God. Then he finished ministry and he was, leaving the, 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 he was leaving the place. And he came to where I was. And he said to me, young man, that the word of God can bring something out of nothing. And the vision ended. Amen. That became my key for life. Put me anywhere, give me the word, I will leave. Any situation, give me the word, I will leave. The word of God can make somebody to leave town, to locate you in a bush, to meet a need. So where you are is not the problem, it is what you have. Alright? The word that you have is what matters, not where you are. Say I'm from this place. No, that's not what matters. The word of God that you have is what matters. For if you have the word in you and you live by the word, you stand upon a rock. You are not standing on a sand. Anywhere you are at all, anywhere you are at all, the word can make you a celebrity. The word can make you look for you. The Bible says John the Baptist had the word of God and he was in the wilderness and all Jerusalem went to him. He was a, others were in the city, people were not coming to them. He was in the wilderness, people were cities were rushing. There. Why? Because the word of the Lord came to John. Let's just look at that scripture and then rise up to pray. Is someone hear the voice this morning? That's why every day we give scriptural focus, study this, study that. It's not to just keep you busy, but to get your heart engaged in what really matters. Because like you will see later, even the prayers you are praying is irrelevant if it does not carry the word. Oh God, help me. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. Does not answer anybody. The all I just said. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. Does not answer anybody. God, that, 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 that's not what brings answers to the people. What brings answer to you is your connection to the word of God. Lord, this is what I ask for because it is written in your word. And God said, yes, you understand this thing very well. It is true. It is written. And what is written is what I am committed to back up. Amen? What is written is what I'm what? I'm committed to back up. Look at it. Luke chapter 3 verse 1. Let's look at that scripture and then we'll rise to pray. Luke chapter 3 verse 1. Are some of us awake or we are sleeping? If you are sleeping, shout hallelujah. Okay. <laughs> Luke chapter 3 verse 1. Now in the 15th year of the reign of Tiberius Caesar, Pontius Pilate being governor of Judea, and Herod being tetrarch of Galilee, and his brother Philip tetrarch of Etheria, and of the region of Trachonotis and Lysania, the tetrarch of Abilene, Annas and Cephas being the high priest, the word of God came unto John, the son of Zechariah, in the wilderness. Where did the word come to him? Where did the word come to him? In the wilderness. And as a result of that, the people went out to him in the wilderness. Because the word of God can turn wilderness into a forest. Hallelujah. The word of God can turn a desert into a forest. Consciously live by the word. Amen. Consciously do what? Live by the word of God. This is how we put it summarily. Every test that God allowed to come your way is to prove the word. He said, I allow them to hunger to prove that man shall not live by bread alone. So when you are hungry, it is an opportunity for the word of God to become flesh by making declarations. I remember one time we didn't have anything. We were coming from church on Sunday and there was nothing at home to eat. My son and my wife came back, sat down, fully aware of the word becoming flesh. 
few minutes after we came in, there was a knock on the door. We opened the door. Somebody somewhere celebrated birthday or what? I can't remember what they celebrated. Rice, chicken, malt, pack it plenty. As a, <laughs> as a man, coming, my wife collected, God bless you. As we're closing the door, I said, man, bring the, <laughs> bring the place, the word has become flesh. <laughs> bring the place and we descended on it. <laughs> Amen. We dis- it's, a, it's to prove. It's to prove the word became flesh. One time I had nothing on me. What do we do now? And I heard the voice of God say, open your drawer, there's money there. Went to the drawer, opened the drawer, and money was inside there for that day. We use it that day. <laughs> Somebody's wondering, is Pastor talking magic now? <laughs> All right, <laughs> let me stop there for now. That the world was made flesh. The world was more made flesh and dwelt among us. So, whenever you are confronted with a situation, it's an opportunity to prove the world. Opportunity to Lord, your word says this, so I address this matter now and see whether it goes or not. Amen. When there is a headache, it's an opportunity to prove the word, it's not an opportunity to run immediately. Oh, is it uh, a headache? <laughs> just immediately, I just bring out your list. Ah, this one is for headache, this one is for two pain. All right, headache, run there. No, it's an opportunity to first prove the word. Listen, if the first time it happens to you, you apply the word and the thing still remain there. You can't bear it again because we grow in the faith. You can now go and take it. All right, whatever drugs. But the next time again, you feel that that pain does not mean you should still go to the door. Apply the word again. Until a point comes where your spiritual muscle is developed to apply the word for solutions. Hallelujah. When I started praying for the sick, pray for some. Don't see healing. Pray, don't see healing. No problem. No problem. The next time I come, I lay hands again. Amen. Exercising the word. Because the word says, You shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Until a point comes as when I lay hands and I am fully aware that the person is healed already. Before I, you are, you are healed already. Rise upon your feet. Brethren, listen to me. We live in dangerous days. Only those who have the word have the answer. We live in dangerous days. Only those who have the word can confront the devil. Satan is shouting everywhere. Even people who are always in God's presence, Satan is looking for how to collapse them. The devil is not fearing face. Amen? What he fears is the man that carries the word. So, you cannot afford to live without the word. Can't afford to be doing prayer and fasting and there is no word inside. From today... You will subscribe to the word of God. And that word will transform your life. 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 That word will transform your life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Are you ready to pray now? Are you ready to pray? Just pray briefly and then enter your day. Charge without understanding that the word of God is the answer that I need. The word of God is the answer that I need. The lecturer said to one of my daughters in the face, you will not graduate until you sleep with me. And she told me, I said, wow, that's a wonderful one. She sent me a text message, and as I brooded on it, the word of God came. And I sent her a message with understanding. He said, I am the Alpha. I am the Omega. You know what that means? If God started it, he will finish it. So I sent her a text message. I said, the God who Alpha did will omega it. Nobody can stop him. Amen. Within a week or so, God raised somebody that was higher in, in, in authority than the other one, bypassed the man as if the man did not exist, and she graduated. What happened? The word was made flesh. The word was made flesh. Lift up your hands to ever say, Father, give help me from today to cultivate a solution consciousness that is to cultivate a consciousness that there is solution in your word lift up your voice and pray lift up your voice and pray 
that Lord, there is solution Lord, in your word. There is solution in your word. A solution that there is solution in your word. The word of God, the word of God was made flesh. You need strength. The word of God can become strength. You need vision. The word of God can become vision. Her to cultivate a consciousness that the word of God is full of solutions for me. Is it marriage you want to get married? The word of God contains that. You want your children? The word of God contains that. You want to shift into a higher level of spirituality? The word of God contains that. Father, I ask for the consciousness. Inside the world is your solution. Inside the world is your answer. Inside the world is your help. Lift up your hands, say, Father, this year 2019, and for the rest of my life, I decide, I make choice to live to live by your word. By your word. <laughs> To live by your word by in your the word. name of Jesus, in the name of of Jesus. Father, in this day, I make the choice to live by your word. I make the choice that the by your word, to live by your word, to live by your word, to live by your word. I make the choice, Father, to live by your word. Recobanima samre di anto, ebrade glosine blende ebrade dia. Rabade gade mele gade brade gade brado. Rabade lagana ma gade brado. I make the choice to live by your word, beginning from today and for the rest of my life. Relevant or similar, English brother. I make the choice to live by the word. I make the choice to live by your word and to live by your word alone. Recover some let the candle libre do and brother Basana Malabalada Brada Rabana Basala Balagana Malabalada in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray. Amen. Finally, I'm gonna pray. Say Father. Father. In the name of Jesus, name of and Jesus. by the power of the Holy Ghost, the power this year 2019, let your word be real in my life. Let your word be real in my family. Let your word be real in my marriage. Let your word be real in my relationship. Let your word be real in my relationship. Let your word be real. In my, in my business, let your word be real in my ministry, let your word be real in my finances, let your word be real in my health. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice and pray. Let your word be real in my life, let your word, Father, let your word be real, let your word be real, let your word be real, Lord, let your word be real, Lord, in this year 2019 and beyond. 
let your word be real in my life, be real in my business, be real in my ministry, be real in my marriage, be real in my relationship. Let your word be real in every aspect of my life. In academics, let your word be real. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. I want to make a declaration on you. Let's take this song and then I make a declaration on you. Because as you study the word of God today, you will see light from the word. Amen. When you are studying the word today, say, Lord, show me the solution to this issue. One word is enough to terminate all the struggles in your life. All of my steps in your word, dear Lord, lead me, guide me every day. For of your anointing, Father, I pray. All of my steps in your word, please. All of my steps in your word. Oh, all the my steps in your word, dear Lord. Lead me, guide me every day. Pour out your anointing, Father, I pray. Oh, the my steps. Oh, please, all oh, my steps. Can we all take that together one more time? Oh, 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 Lead me, guide me every day. For you are pointing, Father, I pray. All the my steps, oh, please, all the my steps. From today, as you study the scriptures, God will order your steps to the answers you have been looking for. God will order your steps to the answer you have been looking for. Amen. From today, as you live by the word, every single word shall become flesh in the name of Jesus. Amen. Say, man shall live by every word. By the word of God that you will live, I decree that every life-threatening situation in your life is finally over. Amen. Today, even today, the word of God will become flesh in your life. Amen. Even this very day, the word of God will become flesh in your life. Before today is over, you will see the manifestation of the reality of the word of God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Today, favor will follow you. Today, blessings will locate you. Today, favor will follow you. Extraordinary accomplishment will follow you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen, amen and amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Somebody put- We believe you have been heavily blessed by this life transforming word. For more information, contact 070-348-898-47 Or you can come hear the word of God live at Restoration House at Akuzu Township Hall Beside LGA School, Saburi 2, Day Day, Abuja, our services. Wednesdays, Healing and Deliverance Service, 5 30 p.m. Sundays, Breakthrough Service, 8 30 a.m. And Signs and Wonders Night, every first Friday of the month, by 10 30 p.m. You can download our messages on Facebook, YouTube, for shared 
Twitter at Hour of Restoration Ministries. Remain ever blessed.